Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to be learning about 3D shapes or three-dimensional shapes. These shapes are a little bit different from circles and squares and triangles because they are not flat. These shapes are solid, which means you can pick them up and hold them. They can roll, some of them can roll, some of them can stack, and some of them you can slide across a table or across the ground. They have surfaces. Some of these shapes also have vertices or corners and edges. So if we take a look at this first 3D shape, which is called a cube, you can see a surface in the front, which is shaped like a square. And you can see a surface at the top, which is also shaped like a square. Where these two surfaces meet, you can see a line. That's called the edge of the shape. And then when you have all of the edges meeting at one point, that's called the corner of the shape or the vertex. So 3D shapes are a little bit different, and we are going to talk a little bit more about each one of these 3D shapes. The first 3D shape is called a sphere. Can you say sphere? A sphere has a completely curved surface. It is totally round no flat surfaces, no corners or vertices. So this is an example of a 3D shape that you can roll across a table or across the floor, a sphere. If we think about an object in the real world that is shaped like a sphere, we could say that a ball is a sphere. A ball is a sphere. It is completely round. It has no flat surfaces and no corners or vertices. The next 3D shape is called a cylinder. Can you say cylinder? A cylinder has two flat surfaces. So you can see one at the top, shaped like a circle, and one at the bottom. And then it has one curved surface in the middle, all the way around the middle of the shape, it is curved. So this shape has no vertices, but it does have both flat and curved surfaces. And a soup can is a cylinder. A soup can is an example of a real object that's shaped like a cylinder. It's got a flat surface at the top where the lid of the can is. It's got a flat surface at the bottom, and then it is completely curved in the middle. The next 3D shape is called a cube. Can you say cube? A cube has six flat surfaces. We can see one at the top, one at the bottom, and then four, one, two, three, four, around the sides of the shape. This shape has no curved surfaces, but it does have eight corners or eight vertices. Remember that the vertex or the vertices are where the edges of the shape come to a point and they meet. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight corners or eight vertices on this shape. And we could say that a box is a cube. A box is an example of a cube. It's got eight vertices, it's got six surfaces and many edges as well, but it has no curved surfaces. The last 3D shape is called a cone. Can you say cone? A cone has one flat surface, which is shaped like a circle. It has a curved surface in the middle, and then it has a point at the end. An example of an object from the real world that is shaped like a cone would be a party hat. A party hat is a cone. It has a flat surface at the bottom. It has a curved surface in the middle and a point at the end, a cone. So boys and girls, now that we have learned the names of four different 3D shapes, let's go ahead and say them one more time. The first shape is called a cube. The next shape is a cone. The third shape is called a cylinder. And the shape on the bottom is called a sphere. I hope that this video helped you learn about 3D shapes. And I hope that you enjoy the choice board activity.